if you compare Arizona to other places, we're doing okay. Uh, Greater Phoenix is about the sixth out of 32 uh, major markets in the country in terms of employment growth. The only time you really get heartburn is when you compare this expansion to previous expansions because it's much weaker. And the weakness really is due to a slow national economy and a, a significant slowdown in population flows. Population flows are maybe 60% of what they would normally be. Now, when people come into town, they bring their own demand for goods and services. Growth itself is an industry, and that industry is gone. Education and health services should be booming. Uh, it should be the only industry that really isn't cyclical over the next couple of decades as the post-war baby boom gets older. Uh, you're also getting leisure and hospitality, construction's finally coming back, uh, business uh, and professional services are doing well. So those, that's where the, the, the growth is really going to be. My major concern is that both nationally and in Arizona, we have uh, gone from about 22-23% of the jobs being in manufacturing in 1975 to about 7 or 8% of the jobs being in manufacturing. Those are, manufacturing is high wage. Uh, the important thing for Phoenix is to make itself look as pretty and competitive as possible. Uh, because we've got a lot of competition out there and to get the types of jobs that are high wage that have a higher multiplier effect uh, is something that, that we all have to aim for. Well, the unemployment rate has been in the fives and I see that coming down a little uh, if you look at the, pre, the, the, the indicators of unemployment rate, which is essentially claims for unemployment insurance, that really is as low, at a lower level as it's been in maybe ever. If you look at the, at the 6,800 units we had in 2011, it's just booming. You have about 18,000 units this year, maybe 19 or 20,000 units next. Um, but if you compare that to the 63,000 units you had in 2005, then you say, oh, this got some heartburn. The reality is we are now a 20,000 unit city. Housing is driven, one, by population growth, and two, by demographics. And, but what I mean by that is the, the, the millennials, and there are more millennials than there were baby boomers, are getting married much later. They're getting married close to 28 for females, close to 30 for males. That's up about seven years from where it was when the baby boomers started to get married. That means they're delaying having kids. When you delay having kids, you delay the need for a house. That will change probably in about five years.